potentially yours every Tuesday. We try to give pets at Dane County Humane Society a new place to call home. And Marissa is here with Drooly Andrews. The greatest name in the history of the mm -hmm. potentially yours segment. And one of the, it is a perfect name for her too. <laughs> uh, so she, like her name implies, mm -hmm. is a bit of a drooler. She's a happy drooler. Wow. <laughs> uh, and uh, she, what happens is when she gets excited and she mm -hmm. gets real happy, yeah. um, she'll start salivating. And you might find the, uh, she also likes to do head butts. Okay. And um, so yesterday she came up and did that and mm -hmm. kind of left my cheek pretty, pretty <laughs> covered in, in saliva. So what is Julie's backstory besides just having a mm -hmm. wonderful name and sing songs from the sun? Running through the hills. So, yes. <laughs> um, so she was found stray um, in the Stoughton area. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's been with us for a little while. Uh, she came in healthy, but you can see um, something's up with her eye. She does have some scarring on there, mm. so a previous injury that's completely healed now. Um, but now she is ready to go and find her new home, and she is such a sweet girl. She's one of those that just really wants to be on your mm -hmm. lap, wants to be playing. Yeah, she's been, you've been here, standing here next to us for quite a few minutes, and she's just been rather calm and just leaning into you and mm -hmm. just... Yeah. You know, now she's like, all right, no, I'm done. Yep. She wants to go home. She yeah. wants to go to someone's home. Oh, yeah. You can blame her. Yeah. Um, but, yes, just a very, very sweet girl, and um, she's been one of the favorites at the shelter what because she is so home affectionate. What kind of do you think other cats, a dog, or do you think she's just, like, be by herself? Well, she definitely likes to be kind of the queen of her, the castle. Okay. You can tell she very much loves affection. But I think a slow introduction to other family members mm -hmm. is she would do great. So let's talk about last week's kitten. Oh my was... goodness. A uh, little Catelyn and she, yeah. mm -hmm. no surprise, got adopted uh, the same day and uh, we are heading into kitten season now so uh, keep an eye on the website if you are looking for kittens. Um, they, we start getting more in about this time of year. Okay, yeah, we, we were going to adopt. I know. Yeah, I missed it by four hours. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, you knew the Catelyn Stark would go quickly. So, I know. So mm -hmm. there are people, um, you guys are looking to hire people too, yes, right? Yes, we are. So if you love working with animals mm -hmm. and really want to make an impact in the community, we are hiring right now um, several positions. If you're looking to maybe work with our adoption staff or admitting staff who brings in um, and takes care and initially assess animals here like, like Drooly mm -hmm. um, or even our um, animal medical services staff. So you can find out more about those positions and uh, keep an eye out for more positions in the future at GiveShelter.org. All right. You gotta find a home for Julie. Yeah. She sheds a teeny bit. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Just needs a spa day. That's all. Oh, Take yeah. care of that and you're all good. All right, Marissa, thank you so much. Thank you. If you are interested in adopting or checking out other animals at Dane County Humane Society, go to GiveShelter.org or set up an appointment at 838-0413. All right, let's take a look at a couple animals available at Green County Humane Society. First, there is two-year-old Ziva. Who are you looking at? <laughs> you looking at me? You looking at me? She may have a bit of an intense stare, but it's only because she's exploring the world. Ziva's a dynamic cat who isn't afraid to give a love nip to remind you she is still there. And then hopefully this new picture of Romeo is going to help him find a home. Come gentle night, come loving black browed night, give me my Romeo. He's been at the shelter for a while now and is looking for a forever home where he can go play, go on long walks, cuddle up next to you on the couch. And you can have the opportunity then not to have to listen to me quote Shakespeare <laughs> in the future. <laughs>